Hey there, here is what not to put in your liquids bag going through airport security. The Transportation Security Administration line wants to screen liquids for passenger safety and airline and airport crew safety. They require that some of your essentials be packed in clear quart sized bag for extra screening, but there are some travel essentials that do not go in the liquids bag. And many of you have asked me if these items are allowed through airport security or if you need to pull that liquid item out and put in the gray bin. And many of you have asked if this item is considered a liquid. So I'm going to address all of those questions and get you through airport security with the correct items in your liquids bag that is clear and quart sized. The TSA rules can be very confusing, so I'm here to help you. If you have never flown in an airplane before, I will link a couple of videos in the description box below. And one of those is going to walk you step by step through airport security, as well as um, alleviate any fears that you may have of flying. Stay tuned to the end of this video because there are five liquid type items that actually do need to go in your liquids bag that I'll talk about. One travel item that does not go in your liquids bag is antibacterial wipes, baby wipes, face wipes. They do not count as liquids and they do not even need to be pulled out of your carry-on bags. Deodorants that are solid or a stick deodorant is considered solid. They're not liquids. If it is a gel deodorant that you wipe on, or spray, you're going to put those items inside your liquids bag. Lipstick does not go in your liquids bag. The same thing with chapstick, but I do put Vaseline in a little container because it is so thick. It doesn't have an extra suction or any kind of special uh, lid locking system. It is just a plastic craft container, but it's fine for a super thick container or super thick consistency cream. Baby formula or breast milk is not considered a liquid specifically to the TSA officers, but they do require that they have extra screening. That means two things, that the breast milk or baby formula does not need to be in only 3.4 ounce containers in your liquids bag. Since the TSA does want to screen them extra, that means outside of your carry-on bag, you can put those bottles of milk in the gray bin by themselves. My travel tip is to just pack them in a travel cooler, like a soft sided cooler, and then put that whole cooler inside the gray bin right beside your liquids bag. And always with any equipment that is a weird liquid, um, tell the officer before you get in line, hey, I've got some breast milk in here, just so they know. And that leads us to ice packs. You are allowed to bring ice packs through airport security. However, if the ice pack is for medical or for baby items like that, the ice packs can be softened a little bit. They do not have to be frozen solid. But if you are only bringing ice packs through airport security to keep your food cold, like regular food that's not medical and not for baby, that ice pack has to be completely frozen solid. If there is any liquid in the bottom of the ice pack, it has to be in a 3.4 ounce container and inside your liquids bag. I know that's confusing. And you can always go to tsa.gov or at, you can call them there. Or my travel tip is to go to Facebook Messenger and search for Ask TSA, not TSA. Just go to Messenger and do the magnifying glass, ask TSA, type in your question, and they will answer you within 24 hours. And then I would screenshot that answer just in case you get a frustrated or uneducated officer who has not read that part of the rules. If you're transporting baby food or any type of snack for babies or toddlers, I suggest that you go to tsa.gov and click in the top right corner where it says, what can I bring? And then type it in. Applesauce is not considered necessary. So it has to be in the liquids bag in a 3.4 ounce container or less. But apple juice is allowed in containers of reasonable amounts in that are larger than 3.4 ounces. I don't know what the discrepancy is, but that's the rule. The TSA rule says that any liquid form needs to be in a container that is 3.4 ounces or smaller. One of the easiest ways to remember this rule is to think of any liquid, cream, or anything that is spreadable or sprayable or gel consistency. 
some medical items that you might be interested in knowing is that distilled water is considered a liquid. I thought years ago that I saw on the website that it was allowed, but it is not allowed in any container larger than 3.4 ounces. If you're taking insulin or if you have an insulin pump, just tell the officer they do not need to take off the pump. And insulin does need to be put in the gray bin for extra screening. You can put that in a bag or your own container. They just want to screen it extra. So it does not need to fit in the liquids bag. Does that make sense? Hand sanitizer is still allowed separate from your liquids bag as long as the container is no more than 12 ounces. So make sure in your gray bin you have the liquids bag and then the, the bottle of hand sanitizer. If your hand sanitizer bottle is like one ounce and it does fit in your liquids bag, you can put it in your liquids bag, but it doesn't have to be in your liquids bag. If you're packing liquid medicines, those do not have to go in your liquids bag. They can be in the gray bin by themselves or you can pack them in their own little bag. They can be larger than 3.4 ounces if they are a liquid medicine. If you want to take a CBD oil, that is allowed, but it can only be in an amount of 0.3 THC. So take that into account for your packing needs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Laurie and I'm a Houston pilot wife. I share travel tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. If you click the bell down here by subscribe, you'll get notified just once a week when I do upload a free travel tip video. Another thing that some of you asked me about going through airport security is about dry pills. Those do not matter to the TSA officers. They are only look, looking for things that could be potentially harmful to passengers or crew. Dry pills can be packed anywhere in your carry-on bags. They do not have to be brought out in airport security. But if you're going to another country, I would just research their rules for medicine. If you have flown in the last year, you have heard the flight attendants saying that you may not consume your own alcohol on board. You can bring the bottles of alcohol that are less than 3.4 ounces in your liquids bag, but you're not supposed to drink them in the airplane. I had one viewer tell me that her dad told her that all of the containers had to be 3.4 ounces, but that is not true. All the sizes can be different. They can be different shapes, but if, the, if there is liquid or cream or gel or spray, it has to be in a container that's 3.4 ounces or smaller. Dry shampoo does count as a liquid, so make sure you put that in your liquids bag. Another travel tip I thought of is you can use the lid that goes on top of your hotel room cup as a little soap dish or something for that's wet on your bathroom counter, like a shampoo bar. Two major travel tips for packing liquid is to make sure you use the name brand. I have the GoTo by Human Gear brand. That's the only one I will use for runny liquids. If I'm using my moisturizer for my face, that's a kind of a runny liquid, so I will use its own container for that. But I will use one small one like this. These come in like 12 containers, so don't get this unless you need it. But I will use one of these small containers for my super thick uh, Gold Bond for Diabetics lotion. It's just super thick and I love traveling with it. A little goes a long way. If you have a full bottle of shampoo, but just an ounce of liquid in it of your shampoo, it is still not allowed through airport security because of the container size. Remember the container size has to be 3.4 ounces or less. There are some confusing liquids that are considered liquids by the TSA that do need to go in your liquids bag, okay? A lot of people travel with oatmeal that they've already cooked and they keep it in their personal item bag. Cooked oatmeal is considered a liquid, so make sure it's in the right size container. Peanut butter is considered a liquid because it is spreadable, if that helps. Nutella is considered a liquid. And salsa is considered a liquid because it has so much liquid in there. And because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, mashed potatoes do count as a liquid, as does cranberry sauce. And then one thing we learned a couple of years ago when my mom was transporting a gingerbread house kit through airport security. She just kept it in her carry-on suitcase, but she forgot about the little icing tube. So don't forget about that if you're going somewhere fun for Christmas. 
All right, if you are new here, make sure you say hello and you can share this video down below by clicking that forward arrow and it'll just copy the link and you can send it to anybody that you want to. Thank you for your time and I hope you get through airport security with clear, clear, get it, sailing. Thanks for your time. You're allowed to bring ice packs through airport security. Only there are if you're transporting baby, if you're transporting baby, excuse me, smaller, that's a hundred milliliters or less. The subscribe and you'll never miss one of my tree, free tree travel tips.